What's up everyone and welcome back to the War of Reactions. My name is Wolfie and today we're going to be taking a look at the Sonic Annual 2019. So you guys may have noticed something a little different. Hey, got a green screen. You may notice I also kind of reached for that comic. <gasps> oh my god, my hand! Okay, no, really though, it's, this is a green screen. Y'all can tell it's brand new. Uh, it's a work in progress, so if you notice something a little janky over here, if I look a little more simpsons -y yellow than usual, it's because my lighting is a little messed up. I'm gonna work on it over time, I promise y'all. In the meantime, y'all, let's take a look at this. Shadow Basketball! And this is a series of short stories um, that take place before the current Zombot arc. At the time of this recording, we are on issue number 27, but I figured I'd go back and revisit these since we are currently, uh, in the middle of a quarantine and a lot of the delays have been happening, causing the Sonic comic issues to get pushed back further. So in the meantime, I thought I'd fill some of that empty time with some of these short stories. So hopefully you all enjoy. Uh, again, I gotta state, these, if you're asking, why are, why are Sonic and Tails... You know, why is Sonic not Zomba? Listen, this takes place before. These these stories took place before the Zombot arc, okay? You good? All right, without further ado, y'all, my name is Wolfie. Let's begin. One of the first stories we'll be covering in this Sonic annual is the Sonic and Tails short story. As the book opens up, we see Sonic piloting the tornado while Tails hangs onto the wing. Woohoo! Barrel rolling! Heh. <laughs> I mean, it's more of an aileron roll, but close enough. Thanks for taking me up in the tornado, Tails. It's been way too long since I've sat in the cockpit. Well, we haven't had a lot of peacetime in the skies lately. I want to get ready for whatever we might face next, and that means new tech. Plus, who better to help test the new jet booster prototype for speed? But remember, the booster is super powerful. We'll take it easy and do a few straightaways and call it a day. We don't want to put the tornado under too much stress. Stress? Me? I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> Just then, something shoots past the tornado, nearly knocking Tails off the plane. Whoa, that bad that came out of nowhere. Didn't even show up on the radar. That armor and those speeds. It's some kind of stealth Valkyrie. <laughs> Resistance supplies. It must have raided the nearby storehouse for fuel cells. Can't have that, can we? But we'll never catch up unless... Way ahead of you, pal. Hold on, let me... Whoa! Woohoo! Ah, and I just calibrated those. Well, booster works. Sometimes engineering brains are a burden. Easy, Sonic. The booster's designed for straightaways, not dives. What? I can't hear you over the wings creaking. One wrong maneuver and we risk a seriously unscheduled landing. Heh, <laughs> don't want that. As Sonic says that, one of the bolts comes loose, hitting the side of the wing. It's trying to lose us in that island canyon. We'll have to cut the booster power if we want to stay in one piece. Um, about that. I may have smashed that button a little too enthusiastically. I'll add that to my list of scheduled upgrades. But no problem, we'll just have to think even faster than we fly. Heck yeah! See those volcanic vents? These islands are full of them. In a canyon like this, they'll produce wild currents this bird brain won't consider. Plus, where there's vents, there's geysers. Stay on its tail until we can ride up the updraft and get the drop on it. Right, that way I won't stress out the tornado again. On my signal, pull up gently until we're in position to drop our payload. You don't mean... <sighs> yeah, I can always build another one. Closer... Closer... Now! On Tails' cue, Sonic shifts the plane upwards, causing a geyser to shoot upwards into the drone. Now, disengage the booster! Sorry, pal. I can't let your hard work go to waste just because I couldn't resist some stunt pilot shenanigans. Careful! It could be more volatile than a standard Valkyrie. As Tails jumps into the cockpit, Sonic leaps off the plane, performing a spin attack on the Valkyrie, making it explode on impact. I've got you! <laughs> Thanks, bud! It was more volatile. How's the booster? Well, we'll have to keep flying until it runs out of fuel, but the test proved it's capable. All that's left to do is radio the resistance to recover the crate and stick our landing. You want back at the controls? You seem to have learned your piloting lesson. I would, it's just... I have more fun when you fly. But... And landings aren't really my thing after all. 
And with that, our two heroes jet towards the sunset, on to the next big adventure. And that was the Sonic and Tails short story from the Sonic Annual 2019. So, with that, you know, this one was like a fine little short story that basically shows that Sonic and Tails have the buddy best bros relationship. And that also, this one had the biggest easter egg of all, which is the original Tornado, which is Sonic's plane. The Tornado 1 is the red plane, that's Sonic's. The Tornado 2 is Tails' plane, the blue one that you may recognize. So yeah, it was cool to see that they brought that back, even if it was for a mini test drive like this. So what this one showcased really was just the dynamic of the friendship, and how they can even when they're not on the ground, can still figure out a way to work a excuse me, work together and figure out a way to stop Eggman's particularly evil scheme of stealing forces resistance what do you call those things? Resistance what do they call that thing? It was a resistance You know what? Forget why I even said anything, because I completely forgot. Yo, I came up blank. But yeah, that was that was pretty much all there was to it. It was kind of cool that it was testing out a new engine, like a new power source for an engine. And also, seeing Tails on the wing instead of Sonic is very... It's so different. Because normally you see like Tails being the one piloting while Sonic stands on the wing, which they did at the end. Big homage to all the, almost all the Sonic games post-Sonic 2. But yeah... Jet Sword Tornado was the name of this story. Very short, but very sweet, I feel. There's more stories coming up in the works, so let me know what you all think of this one. Again, I gotta state that this is a prequel to the current Zombot arc in case somebody skips ahead to the end and wonders what's going on. Um, in the meantime, y'all, I will see y'all next time. Let me know what you guys thought of this one in the comments below. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the Werewolf Reactions for more videos like this one. I'm trying to think, did I miss anything? Hmm... No, I, I feel this one was just a perfect little short story that highlights Sonic and Tails' little, uh, 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 their deep bond and friendship. And, yeah, they can get stuff done, no matter where they are. They're a great team. Uh, for now, I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tuned. I can't do that because it's a green screen.